Welcome to the High Tech Investments News Report for Week 13. The news report covers some of the many investments projects High Tech Investments is currently involved in so you can follow our progress. We hope you will enjoy this news feed and look forward to your comments and remarks. Hi, Bo here and welcome back to this week's news report. Once again, plenty of news. Even though Easter is upon us here, we have plenty of trading uh, history. We have plenty of news and information for you, again, for all our different platforms that we are actually trading on. And obviously, we also have a lot of news and information when it comes to the PAM under management account in here. This has really been uh, taking off uh, quite dramatically. We are definitely very, very surprised to see how many people are actually joining this. And if they are getting anything out of it, obviously, you're going to have a closer look at that too. Things has been a bit difficult here for both February and also a bit of March. So we're definitely hoping for something better in April. But exactly how well or how little that we have produced so far in this particular month, well, you're going to have to watch this news report all the way to the end. Now we also have a second part, and that is the Forex trading pool. We took actually uh, upon ourselves just to ask our viewers in here, how much are you expecting actually to make from this PAM set up investment account and we are talking about every single month so and we uh, ask people is that between 5 and 10 percent per month 10 to 18 or 18 to 30 percent or are you one of the high risk rollers in here with more than 30 percent also this we're going to answer later on here in the video so please stay tuned everything will be revealed now we're going to start off with yield notes first of all uh, not much has actually come out from yield notes since the last couple of weeks here so the last update we actually got was back in february so i just want to do highlight again for you uh, quarter one which is now coming to an end here end of march this enemy evaluation and review of asset providers and also the kyc process for potential asset providers should be in place now haven't really seen that that should be a big issue but anyway let's move on to the yield notes pro reassurance on the nfts with the resolution and security vulnerabilities that we saw now a few months ago that should have been resolved already we have seen some indications that that was the case and then issuing the nfts are once again fully tradable by restoring their trading capabilities uh, i haven't really seen anything on this particular one yet we are hanging on with ours we are not trading it we are hoping it goes back into the yield notes pro program also on q2 so this is now what's going to happen in the next two or three months and let's see if all of this is actually going to happen. Some of the things uh, that we are interested in is, again, the contract creations for the asset providers, because at the end of the day, this is where some of the money is going to come out. So the incorporation of additional asset providers, also new ones in here. We haven't really heard much about them from Steve, the CEO, or from Uwats for that matter. But we are still hoping also they're going to set up some new structures and implementing this think tank here in order to get things back up to speed, back up and running, and hopefully also make us a bit of a buck or two. And then the Yield Notes Pro section here, development on the first version of the Yield Notes Pro. Let's hope we're going to see at least the first draft for the platform this time around. And then they also hopefully will release the first test version so we can have a closer look at it to see exactly what's going to happen. So that's pretty much it. But obviously, we always have our SAP coin. So again, the Rolls Royce of yield notes. And uh, last many weeks, it has gone down. You can see last week we left it up here at point, And this is then six zeros, one zero. Since then, it has moved slightly up again after a bit of a dip all the way down to uh, six zeros and then a seven in here. So things has been going in the right direction, but it's not really linked much with Bitcoin at the moment. So, and I will show you that just a bit later here in the program. A bit better uh, is actually how it runs at the moment with the SAP coin and the staking. We saw quite a few weeks where nothing really happened. You can see from 18th of February until 16th of March. Then finally we got something in. And as you can see here also in the past week on the 28th of March, we actually got 280 SAP in. And if we just compare that for a second with January, February and March down here, at least we are now on the level with February at the last minute. So let's hope that things are going to also here pick up a bit in the future, similar to what we just discussed on our forward side, which was a bit low. Overall for the week, it's 1.3% with the 280 SAP. 
which is obviously quite nice, but still extremely low at the moment. The second part is the P and Y, which we are also staking here. And we can see that we also managed to get one in on the 26th of March. Last time was 22nd. And then again, there was a big gap uh, all the way down to the 7th of March. But we didn't recover enough for this particular month to get March equal to February, unfortunately. But let's hope things are moving forward here a bit later on in April. So if we have a closer look, what did we do? 0.7%, 133 P and Y nothing really fancy at all unfortunately and it has certainly nothing to do with the bitcoin as you will see bitcoin has really developed in the past week in here last time we left it down here at 62,400, so roughly thereabouts since then things has been moving upwards all the way and had a huge pump at when it hit again the 70,000. so you can see there's a bit of resistance level in here and now at the moment it's trading past the 75,000. So looking like it's on its way to uh, 100,000, which people have already been talking about for quite a while and hoping that it would get somewhere around there. But as you can see, there's not much happening on the SAP coin. It's not really linked much with this. The uh, trading is simply too low, I guess, at the moment. Trillion also, uh, not much news in here. We had a Happy Easter. So this is just one email that came out from the team itself so saying Easter is around the corner and then hopefully there will be a lot of joy, wonders of spring together. And obviously we would like to see a bit more than Easter season, but hopefully an opportunity also to bring the community back to life. And hopefully after the holiday season, we will have some better news on the audit in here. And also if we can start Having a closer look at the uh, tree coin, hopefully that will also make it forward. If uh, Eric, again, the CEO in here for the Trillion platform, can put some life back into this overall. So let's have a look at the tree platform and the tree coin. So the coinstore.com is the one we are looking at for this particular one. And we can see last time we left it here at 0.00, 1638. Since then, things hasn't really developed that well. And that's what I'm saying again, nothing to do with Bitcoin at the moment at all. Normally they are pulled together. But again, I believe that there is still a bit of trading going on, but certainly not anything to pull that up in the same way as Bitcoin, unfortunately. And we're ending up lower than we started for the week at 0 0.0001581. So not a good development at all for the coin. Same poor development also goes for the money three for week 13. We simply had no trades at all. Low risk one has a couple of outstanding ones still with the drawdown that hasn't been completed yet. So also here, as you can see, for a very, very uh, low trading week for the money tree. But we also have the entire month. So this time around. So let's have a look at that. And this is for the month of March. Low risk run actually made $167 or 2.0%. Medium risk 115 or 2.3%. And then the high risk run 226 or 6.8%. So that is obviously a nice positive development. Uh, we did have some losses previously and we're going to have a look at that. That was under the high risk account. And going to look at this, this was in the very early days where our lot sizing was completely wrong. Then we seem to get it right. We made some adjustments and that was certainly not the way we were supposed to go by it. We lost about 1,878, as you can see here. And since then, we now have for the month of March, 226. And this goes all the way back to May at the moment. You can see the net profits. And then we basically uh, put a bit too much lot sizing on it in June and July. Since then, things have been going better, but also a lot lower profit. Lot low profit also comes in here when it comes to the profit retriever for week 13. The top five EAs only managed to scrape a few uh, hundreds together. Normally it's a couple of thousand. So let's have a look at it. Euro AUD $126 or 1.2%. New Zealand USD $109 or 1.1%. Euro USD $102 or 1%. Also USD $54 or 0.5%. And then US CAD. $52 or 0.5% overall if you would have traded those top five. 
in the past week, you would only have made $439 or 0.9%. Definitely very disappointing, but we mentioned here already a few times that the trading around Easter here was absolutely awful, especially when it comes into the grid trading part, where things are actually needing some volatility, it needs the price to go up or down. Anyway, we will normally cash in on this, but when things are going so slow and sideways, then pretty much the profit retriever can't pick up anything. But anyway, we also have the profits for the month of March that looks slightly better. So we have silver at $1,907 or 19.1%. US CAT came in at $1,054 or 10.5%. New Zealand USD $787 or 7.9%. And then Euro Japanese $642 or 6.4%. And then at the end of the top five, Aussie USD $576 or 5.8%. Overall, if you would have traded those top fives in the past month of March here, you would have made $4,965 or 9.9%. And that is definitely not too bad, but considering that we normally are in the area of seven, 8,000 all the way up to 10 or 12. So again, very, very disappointing months, not only for uh, March, but we also had a very slow one for February. Unfortunately, that is the market condition sometimes uh, interfering here. When we have a look at our entire portfolio, you can see things are still going well. It is gradually just sliding out because we had a couple of not so good months overall. Weekly returns 1.7, monthly returns 7.1. Don't forget that these are continues to come down because again, at the end, we are not increasing our lot sizing here because they are on the copy link service. So that means we should always trade them like they are on a $10,000 account. History, massive already two years, 743 days in here. And then you can see the net profits for the individual months going all the way back to 2022 in March. And then going forward here, we can see that February and March for 2024 was very, very disappointing. And you can see normally we're always in the double digits in here. So unfortunately, that is the nature of the Forex market sometimes. We're hoping that April is going to kick back big time. Now, if you're not interested in trading the Profit Retriever or any of the other ones in here by yourself, you can go on the copy link trading over here and then you can copy all our signals. But if you are a trader or a wannabe trader, then definitely you should go and have a closer look at the Profit Retriever and some of the other EAs we have on the High Tech Investment website, where you can go and get some inspiration as exactly what EAs are working, how we are setting them up, how much money you can actually make over time. Money over time, well, the Trade Explorer seems to be cashing in quite well. And for week 13, also here, we can see some low numbers. Again, Trade Explorer also set up in a grid pattern. And you can see the 22 pairs didn't really make much either. 60 bucks or 0.6%. 10 pair one, normally a bit more on the aggressive side, $235 or 2.4%. But also here, very, very low profits again at the end of the day. So if we have a closer look and see how did the Trade Explorer do for the month of March, Things are looking a bit better. 22 pair is still below where we are supposed to be with $494 or 4.9%. The 10 pair one did a lot better with $1,318, which is 13.1%. And that is pretty much where it normally will be. Definitely, it normally managed over 10% on the high risk account in here. And having a quick look just to see what the 22 pair looked like. Originally, this account was at 10,000. You can see the balance is now past 21,000, so it's going quite well. And again, it is 111% return, monthly return 7.2. But also here, we are not changing the lot size. The lot size actually stays the same all the time. Uh, and that will also take the monthly returns down, calculated by the FX Blue. Look at the trade wins here again, 76.8, very nice, very high, history 319 days. And this time around, I put the graph on with the equity. You can see the drawdowns. We had a few drawdowns in the beginning. Since then, things have been going extremely well and very well behaved and continue to go up, up and up here. 10 pair one, the more aggressive one. And you can see we had a bit of a notch back then. We talked about that many times now. 
Also here, the account was $10,000 originally, now past 27000 Small floating uh, minus at the moment at minus $43, so nothing to be to worry about. Close profits, 17000 so normally this would be the time where you take your original 10 and you take them out, de-risk yourself, and then everything from there on is pure profit. Uh, we can do that because this is set up on a demo account just for the benefits of the copy link service itself. But total returns is 169%, monthly returns 96 But as you can see, normally if we are recalculating with the uh, original 10,000, then you would be way beyond. So that's good of the 10% per month. Also here, same history of 319 days and then 10 currency pairs over here. So definitely it has been doing quite well overall and one of the best performing ones for the month of March, which was, as we said, disappointing. Disappointing also comes to the Wave Liberator and normally I certainly don't use that word for it either. But week 13 was also very disappointing on that particular note. Swiss francs Japanese, the top one actually for the top five, only $41, 4.1%. US CAT, $35 or 3.5%. Euro USD, $34 or 3.4%. Aussie New Zealand, $29 or 2.9%. And then British Pounds USD, $25 or 2.5%. Again, set up on a $1,000 account. So that's where the percentage come from. Total, if you would have traded all the top five in here over the past week, $164 or 3.3%. And it might sound a bit uh, strange that we are upset with 3.3%, but we are used to our Wave Liberator doing a lot more. So definitely the Easter has cost a lot of money. So most traders are away. There is not enough volatility in here, similar to the Wave Liberator, also using the GRIS system. So at the end of the day, we are not getting the usual percentage that we have normally. Now, also here for the Wave Liberator, the month of March. Uh, again, it looks a lot better. So Swiss francs Japanese, $206 or 20.6%. So now we are getting in the numbers that we are used to seeing. US Japanese, $139 or 13.9%. Aussie Swiss francs, $137 or 13.7%. And then US CAT follows shortly after, $136 or 13.6%. And then New Zealand Japanese, $116 or 11.6%. Overall, if you would have traded those top five results in here for the past month, then you would have made $734 or 14.7%. And that is a bit below where we normally find ourselves, but it's certainly a lot better uh, compared to the last week. And if we have a look at our overall portfolio, which we have now been running for 223 days, as you can see here, Again, it started off with 16 different accounts. So it really was originally 160. Then after that, things have been going quite well. And this was set up for the FTMO purposes, balance up to 172,000. Floating profit at loss is currently down by minus 3,400. It's actually one of the biggest drawdowns we had on this particular account for an extremely long time, if not forever. Close profit more than 12,800. Plenty of free margin, uh, margin in use, not much at all. And we can have a look also, see total returns 9.5, monthly returns 1.5, and then weekly returns 0.4. So as you can also see from the graph, it is extremely stable, simply just cashing in all the time. Again, also here, the lot size is actually not changing because all of these signals are again used on the copy link service. More than 20,000 pips have been taken, trades per day, 13.8, and then a bit of history again, as we said, with plenty of different uh, trades in here. We're gonna add more to it later. If we have a closer look, again, we can see the same numbers up here, but this time around, we'll see the net profit. And for the month of March, we actually made $1,593 overall for the entire portfolio. You can see that that is also a bit low, similar to February. So it hasn't been two good trading months. We actually cut off somewhere around 25-30% from previously, which is a bit disappointing. So let's hope that April is going to be the month where things are going to look a lot, lot better. Now, obviously, we have plenty of information also, not just in this news report, but all on our website. 
So this is the high tech investment website. And in here you have our news reports. You have our the wave liberator, many other things in here. And we have our new PAMP account service also, where we are actually trading for you. So it becomes an investment account where you're simply sitting back instead and can relax. And if you go on that particular site in here, you can find a lot more details. First of all, on the wave liberator results and videos. We also have a live FX Blue trading account in here that we have been trading since December 2023, where you can find a lot more details on it. There is also a link where you can go start the PAM service. PAM service actually started almost a, a month ago here now, 4th of March. So we had four trading weeks so far, four weeks overall. And this one was by far the uh, weakest one. So let's have a look at this uh, real life training account because a lot of times we say uh, or at least being asked well you know it's uh, always demo accounts don't you have any live accounts and of course we have so we have now started to put those on the website and as you can see here the original balance for this account first of all this says real and then started off at 10,000 since then things have been going quite well and we ended up with 16,300. The equity is a bit low because we have a minus at the moment. Also here at minus $1,149. You can see the equity is the red one here. So we had a couple of uh, bumps on the road. Then very smooth sailing here and caught up again. And then we had a bit of a drawdown. So this was in the past week here also. And then during Easter, nothing really happens. Things just slided along uh, because there was not enough movement overall total return of this account 52.8 percent monthly return 13.9 it was about 14 and a bit and since because of easter we didn't really have much to do then it dropped again so let's hope we can uh, manage to get a bit more out of it in the future weekly return 3.2 and you can see the trade wins is extremely high on this particular one 70 percent so uh, that is uh, a massive amount of cash you can actually bring in with a trade win like this and then you have history 118 days so far with all the different currencies that we have over here so this is going quite well and obviously it's even better when it's real live money if we have a closer look at the other part and this is just to see the same account again here uh, in a different light, we can see the individual weeks that we have with the net profits week by week. And we can also see it month by month. And this particular one here, we are actually increasing lot sizes. We are adding EAs to it in order to increase the profit. And you can see that happening from December to January. It went from 1200 to 1300. And then from there, it went from 1500. And look at the month here, even though that. Uh, this particular week was only at 484, so below the past two weeks. We still managed overall monthly profit of $2,330. So that is obviously uh, quite nice overall. Uh, but we are expecting a lot more to come. And speaking about a lot more to come, on our website we already have the 16 different Wave Liberator EAs in here. And we are adding another four, so they are already trading in the background. So in the next couple of days or maybe a week, depending on how much time we have, we will also add in four additional ones. So it'll get us up to 20. Later on, they will also be available on the copy link service, but not right now. Now, we mentioned earlier on in the program that uh, we wanted to have a closer look and understanding exactly of how uh, our viewers how our investors here wanted to see our PAM investment account so we asked the uh, basic question what kind of profit would you like to see from high tech investment PAM service per month and then we split it up into five to ten percent so we would like to sleep at night smooth sailing and a bit of snoring in here and we actually found that 27 percent uh, would actually just like five and ten or be happy with that we are quite surprised with this 10 to 18 is where we're expecting to be with the PAM service, at least for the first account. Slow and steady wins the race, which we are emphasizing all the time. No rush here, 60%. So we definitely thought that that was the main part. We know that a lot of people that are watching our videos and also follow us through other forums in here are telling us, well, we are quite happy with that kind of profit bow. So that is not really a big surprise. The big surprise actually comes again here 
when we are talking about 18 to 30 percent sky is the limit reaching the stars with each straight there's only 10 percent that are interested in making more they don't really want to take the risk everybody obviously wants to to make more money but on the other hand it also comes with a higher risk and then we have uh, plus 30 percent which is i actually one of the all or nothing kind of guy or girl rolling uh, the dice and uh, chasing the big wins or maybe it's somebody who just wants to mess around with the poll at the end of the day uh, we can see there's about 30 that voted in here so uh, still it should be a bit of an indication of how many people and what they want so we are very happy to see the 10 to 18 percent but we are surprised that there's not a bigger amount than the 13 percent that are actually looking for the big score and to win overnight but that is very good to see because we don't want to do that either we think that 10 to 18 percent is the name of the game exactly for these particular eas where you can trade them extremely safe over long periods of time and that's what it's all about it is slow and steady wins the race so thank you very much guys and girls for your feedback and uh, to let us know that we are on the right track and as i said very impressive to see that actually 27 percent so twice as many as the 10 and the 13 down here rather want to have a lower uh, percentage overall of the area of 5 to 10 percent and then be able to sleep at night so again when we get a bit closer to it we might actually get one of these accounts in here where we are at that particular level now obviously we have also seen a great development now within the pam account and a lot faster than we could have ever dreamed of uh, right now we have more than $165,000 on the management. So, and I can tell you that this was never in my wildest dreams um, going to happen. But obviously, I have managed to follow up on this to make sure that we are being profitable. We are making trades. And one of the ways that we are doing that is obviously every single time there's more money coming in, we are either adding more robots to the mix in order to get similar to what you saw here earlier on our live accounts and then the demir accounts so we get a good steady profit over time uh, similar to the uh, 10 16 or 18 percent whatever it is we can make in there uh, and then go up and hopefully uh, adjust it again with either lot sizes and there's different ways of making sure that we are keeping the risk on under control even though the account is uh, going up and we're adding new EAs all the time but it is us catching up all the time and that's also why the profits is a bit lower and a bit more unstable right now than hopefully it will be in a couple of months where um, the accounts might have settled in a bit more now if we have a look at the real PAM account so again with the real money at the moment uh, it says 32 days history well the FX blue as you can see also down here uh, we started the account but we didn't really uh, put any money in and we didn't really start anything up either uh, but we have been trading this one now for uh, four weeks so getting close enough to the dates weekly return 2.1 monthly returns 8.9 so we are a bit below where we wanted to be and definitely easter didn't help us much the day-to-day -day trading in here for the net profits you can see was slowly but surely going up and we had a couple of good days and this was the past week where we passed more than a thousand dollars a day and then we came into easter where everything simply just grinded slowly but surely to a halt definitely we would have liked to make a lot more money on this but for sure it will come also a quick look here on the uh, weekly parts so again we only been trading for four weeks so we started off with ten thousand we made 523 in the first week then as money came in we again mentioned adding more eas and putting uh, bigger lot sizes on it so 1700 and then in the past week we said okay now things are really moving more than 4000 we did in one week and then easter hit and then we dropped all the way down to 1690 again a bit disappointing but at the end of the day it is a new account and uh, as long as we're making profit and things are safe that's what it's all about now i wanted to show you also a few other things that you might not have seen yet 
uh, again we are talking about average wins in here what i've highlighted already so every single time you have a trade the average win will be 52.55 dollars average loss is 43.67 so as long as the average wins is bigger than the average loss then that is very good especially when you then have a look at the trade wins so if the trade wins is more than 50 percent already you are printing money and if you go to the trade wins here we had 66.2 as you can see, it's a bit lower from where we were with the 70%, but 66 is still good. Let's see when more trades come in, it becomes a bit more stable overall. But uh, with those kind of numbers in here, it is a bit of a printing machine at the moment. Uh, hopefully we can uh, go to the ATM at one point and then enjoy some of our profits. Last but not least, we also have some Forex trading from Expert Forex. Alex has made this particular video here. And this came from the last week's video where we had a bit of a crash on the competition level, obviously where people are trying to push the EAs to the maximum limits. And because we had some uh, huge movements in the market, some huge trending part, which is not good for the uh, trend EAs or the grid trading EAs in here, then some of them crashed and that uh, flipped the entire uh, competition upside down. So if you want to know more, then definitely that is the video for you. And that's what we had for you in this week's news report. As you can see, the profit was really low over Easter, very disappointing, but then again, also expected. From there on, now it's April, it is becoming spring, it is becoming summertime, hopefully also very, very soon. So um, let's get going, let's get some profit in there. And by all means, also please give me a thumbs up and a like and maybe also a comment on some of the things in there to make sure that the uh, YouTube algorithm uh, keeps going and I will be able to provide you some new and informal details also next week. So until then, I hope to see you on one of my other videos. Bye-bye. I hope you enjoyed our news report. So please don't forget to like and add your comment below as we would love to get your feedback. But before you go, Make sure you subscribe to the channel and don't forget to keep the notification bell turned on. That way, you will never miss any of our future videos. We hope to see you back on this channel very soon.